Hello, your weekend plans are in good shape as a nice big hire builds in. But before we can get there, Mother Nature has one more trick up her sleeve in the form of another fairly tight low that comes wrapping its way into the far south and east of the country in the next 24 to 36 hours. So this collection of cloud is the first weather system, the last piece of energy easing away. You can see all the showers. Quieter southwest flow, speckly showers uh, over the uh, warmer water bubbling up the cloud. That is the next system there. And you look at it and say, it doesn't look like much, but look at the lines, look at the weather system, and as this runs through, and then keep an eye on the spacing between our lines here. As I run through the course of the day into tomorrow, first watch this system deepen or intensify, and then our lines get a bit closer. So we've still got passing troughs, southwest flow, uh, mainly western areas, but watch as we go into tomorrow night into early Thursday, weather watch gales, coastal areas from Southland right through our Banks Peninsula to Hawke's Bay, Wadarapa, as that little squeeze there wraps in. And keep an eye on that, Chatham Islands too, as that thing barrels its way through and dropping the snow level too down to the south. Look at that, wrapping its way along, then clearing away the payoff is of course fine weather, that's the weekend, high pressure building in. But that's just a little nasty little squeeze to watch out for as you go through tomorrow night. Westerly flow tomorrow, western areas get the showers, eastern areas stay drier or mostly dry for many spots. Those thin out though through the day, it's not all day, just thinning out, another trough comes into the picture later on. Eastern areas, you're otherwise fine. South Island, broadly similar, there's your showers on the western areas with a southwest flow, northeast is dry, there's the southwest change. This could drop your snow level down to 600 metres over the far south as you go into tomorrow night bear that in mind and it's a good old southwest that really rips its way up the east coast you'll notice that as it comes barreling through some showers they'll be with us in Vercargill one or two dots here and there but with the southwest they're coming in you'll see that strengthening those winds to some coastal areas by the end of the day on the west coast showers to Milford they'll be there on the west coast but as the troughs moves north those do thin out Nelson is dry and on the east coast your day is fine until that southwester kicks through late afternoon and evening, and you know it when it does, it will drop your temperatures too. Brings a few showers as well. Now, we work with westerly flow to many areas from Cuppity up towards New Plymouth. Odd heavy one. These are going to thin out through the day. Finishing numbers aren't too bad. You're going to have a southwest change later on. And a keen old westerly strengthening through the day to many eastern spots. But you've got the shelter, you're otherwise dry. And Gisborne manages 19 as the day finishes. OK for the most part over the central plateau towards the bay. Thickening cloud by the end of the day. Odd spot towards Tokoroa. And we'll keep some showers into the mix for places like Titianga towards Kaitaia. But these are thinning out. Titianga is otherwise dry. Showers become isolated by the end of the day. Dunedin starts off OK. One or two showers. Southwest change later on. And then you'll see those strong winds gusting to 100 around the peninsula by the end of the day. Only 13. And it's an evening thing for Christchurch. Otherwise your day is fine. You're dry. Evening you bring that southwest change through Banks Peninsula wind strengthen there as well. Wellington strong northerly. You're going to go southwest overnight. Those showers are mainly north of town. You can see there. Pororua might pick up one or two, but it's more likely up towards Cuppity. Heavier showers to Hamilton. They're thinning out through the day and more cloud by the evening and 17. And for the morning showers, Tauranga. Otherwise, your day is pretty good. And it's the same for Auckland. Start off with your raincoat. Put it in the bag by the end of the day. Probably just picking up some cloud as well. Here's how we look then as we run away through the next couple of days. That mean old southwesterly eases away and see how the lines start to open up. But when the lines do open up, you get clearer skies, light winds, radiational cooling. Boom. This is the coldest night of the week for many of us. The blue on the map. And look at these numbers down to freezing. Even Hamilton, one. So extra blankets. That's Thursday night. Friday is quiet. There's the high pressure. Come on, just build in. Saturday. Good looking weekend. We'll lose all of that. So, but some cold nights and watch that southwest change coming in over the next couple of days. Back to you, Tim.